Hey guys, this is John with Traveling Outside the Bots. Do not adjust your screen, you're in the right spot. Part of the Fire and Ice Outdoor Gear family. Me and Barry do a lot of adventures together and we got a product I think is gonna work fantastic on quite a few of those today. I'm gonna do a review on the Rokit Solus 2. It's a new version of their smart audio glasses. I'm gonna break down a little unboxing. I'm gonna get a little crazy. We're gonna hit a, um, a hiking trail on our e-bike, my Trovox Explorer that you've probably already seen on the channel. Uh, and also I'm gonna have a dual sport Himalayan motorcycle. And I know that gets a little bit outside of what these glasses are designed for, but if we're gonna do a review, let's get after it and see what it's capable of. All right guys, let's get to the unboxing here. The overall packaging is really nice with the Solus 2. Comes with a carrying case, magnetic, edges on both the top and bottom. You can see the bottom portion of it has a really nice carrying for your charging cable, lens cleaner, and a spot directly to put in your replacement lenses. These lenses are fantastic. They are blue blocking uh, and polarized. Um, so that blue light blocking for computers covers over 80% of that. I think they did a really good job on the box, have everything together, and with the Solus 2, you do have storage for those lenses separately at the bottom in a safe spot so they're not scratched. Excellent job on all the casing. The charging cable is standard USB-C on the side of the glasses that is magnetic. I'll show you here in a little bit as well, but the magnetic connection is just fantastic. The full charge, they have a 48-hour battery life. Heavily use them for about three hours talking, and I use less than half of the battery. Um, got into about 60% left after three hours, and they're saying about a five to eight hour talk time, so that definitely checks out for me. The microfiber towel that they include seems to be pretty high quality. Um, use it on my own glasses, sunglasses, and then on these, so they, they are putting a pretty high quality cable in there for you. They really have a great design. Um, these are the solid black style. Um, I do have blue eyes, so I'm a great tester. My eyes are very sensitive to the sun, and they did fantastic hiking on the e-bike and on the motorcycle. See the quick connect for the battery there. Power on, power off buttons right on the right-hand side. Battery connection is magnetic. It snaps quite firmly into place. Secure hold and easy to charge you can actually feel the resistance when you go to take that battery cable off. So magnetic connection, the charging connection is really fantastic, especially with the Solus 2 model. These are the second pair of lenses. These are polarized and blue blocking. I did test them out um, actually editing this video um, for the connection to the laptop. Very nicely done. Um, I'm more of the dark glasses guys, again with my uh, blue eyes, a little light sensitive there. Uh, but both glasses fit right in. Easy to connect and once again the storage spot separately underneath with the magnetic close is just fantastic. You're always going to access to your lenses easily. They are IPX2 waterproof so hiking, biking outside you're always going to be covered. Let's get to the field testing and put these things through the test. Right, man, the build quality of this is just fantastic. Rokit does phenomenal on all of their lenses. Um, the Solus 1 was great, the Solus 2 the upgrade, a um, little redesign, uh, really going to like, but we're going to get these charged up and hit the road. Going to do a little hiking as I mentioned first, probably a little biking, and let's just see uh, see what we get out of these. Let's put them to the test. What do you think, guys? All right, guys, we have been uh, called Barry, had a few phone conversations, called my wife, had a phone conversation. Audio on, on phone calls is just fantastic, uh, both ways. Um, I'm sitting here jamming on some rock and roll music right now. Just got done with some Lincoln Park, and uh, I'm very, very impressed. I'm a bit of an audiophile. Um, really, really impressed with the quality of music coming out of it. Low end is more there than I thought, really well balanced. Giving it first test. Got a little medium um, wind here, not a lot of wind, but just absolutely sounds phenomenal. Test number one, 
phone call, test number two, hiking for music, killer. Nailed it. All right. Hello, can you hear me? Yep, I'm going to start my bicycle ride and we'll have a little conversation because so far the audio sounds fantastic, the hiking sounds fantastic. Uh, so here is here is test number number three. So just a little bit of wind right now. How do I sound? Fantastic. Let's get some real wind here. All right, I got a lot of wind in my face. How do I sound right now? Okay, so you hear the wind side of it, obviously, but my voice is still pretty clear. All right, next stage. Yeah, I'm going really fast now. This is just a ton of wind. Can you still hear me? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of wind here. That's killer. All right. I'll... Yeah, so far these are superiorly passing every test I put forward. But like I said, we're going to stress them out a little bit. We're gonna grab the cycles and hit the road and just, uh, this is a little bit kind of beyond their specs and let's, let's see what we get out of it, guys. Let's do it. All right, guys, cycles are put away. Whew, I passed the motorcycle test, man. Um, I could hear easily, did a phone conversation, listen to some music. Uh, two things on the motorcycle test. It is extremely tight in my helmet, so I probably, for me, won't be wearing these riding again just because my helmet puts a lot of pressure on them. Um, but absolutely, sound quality, uh, music quality, everything was there. Uh, 10 out of 10, man. I love it. The, the Solus 2 is just a, is a home run, guys. Definitely check them out. We'll have the link below. And uh, keep adventuring.